In this section, we are going to look at how interfaces and services tie into dependency injection. We will cover what an interface is, why using interfaces is critical for dependency injection, what a service is, and how to create a service. In this video, we are going to look at what an interface is, why we should use interfaces, and what an interface looks like. In object-oriented programming, an interface can be thought of as a blueprint or a contract. It specifies the functionality that a class that implements the interface must provide. Two reasons to use interfaces are the interface serves as useful documentation and the interface makes dependency injection possible. Let's take a look at an actual interface so that we can see how it serves as documentation. Our aquifer retrieval service interface is going to document what type of data we are expecting to be able to retrieve from an external source. We use the interface keyword to indicate that we are defining an interface. Take note that the vast majority of the contents of the file are the comments in our doc blocks. We never place any logic inside of our methods. Our interface indicates that we expect three methods to be available. The first method tells us how many aquifers are in the world with the option to filter the count by region. The second method will give us a list of the aquifer names which we can optionally filter by region, choose a number of results to receive, and start at a certain offset. The third method provides us the data on a particular aquifer. The data is comprised of the coordinates, status, and volume. Furthermore, we know the type of detail we will receive for each of those pieces of data. We have just seen how easy it is to use an interface as documentation. This is something that even a non-technical person could reasonably understand. It is not necessary to be able to read the actual implementation of this interface, nor is it necessary to know anything about the external source that provides the desired information. It is entirely possible that the external source doesn't have the exact functionality we want to use or the correct format of the data. It will be the responsibility of the class that implements this interface to take care of all those details. All of that complexity will be hidden inside of that class instead of cluttering up our interface. Additionally, it doesn't matter how the external source changes or if we change what external source we use. The interface still stays the same and it remains an accurate source of information about what we can expect from the service we write. Let's return to the example of dependency injection we looked at in video 4.3. Note how the constructor method type hints the current user variable with the account interface and how the create method type hints the container variable with the container interface. If we type hinted with a specific class, then PHP would accept only an instance of that class to be passed in. We would not have a clean way to substitute a different object for the argument. However, since we are type hinting with an interface, we can pass in an object of any class that implements the interface.